Education forms a vital part of the common wealth of any society. Access to education and training is therefore essential for improving the quality of life. This is the work of the Commonwealth of Learning, reaching out, developing our common wealth. World leaders realize there is a direct correlation between the state of development of a country and the level of education of its people. But there are challenges to be addressed. There is an increasing demand for education. Access comes first, but quality must be ensured, and costs must be made affordable. What form of education can reach out to people regardless of socioeconomic status, location, and time restrictions. How does a student living in a remote rural area receive an education comparable to a student living in an urban location? How do learners further their education or training when they cannot afford to take time during the day to attend classes? Distance education is an approach that many societies employ to meet these challenges. Today's learners can take advantage of an array of distance education techniques and technologies which may use a combination of print, electronic media, and telecommunication systems. In a rapidly changing world, there is a desperate need to educate large numbers of people in an economical way. It has been estimated that for every student pursuing studies by conventional means, four may study at a distance at the same expense. Traditional methods cannot possibly overcome the obstacles of cost and distance. There is a need for educational reform, but how can this be achieved? In October of 1987, Commonwealth heads of government agreed to create an international organization that would promote cooperation in distance education. Its mission would be the development of human resources through the application of distance education techniques and technologies. In January of 1989, the Commonwealth of Learning, or CAL, began functioning from its headquarters in Vancouver. CAL's mandate is to a quarter of the world's population who are located in 51 member countries within the Commonwealth. There are nations from every part of the globe ranging from rich to poor, large to small, developed and developing. With their common heritage, they work together through the Commonwealth of Learning. The Commonwealth of Learning's core functions include materials, communication technologies, training for distance education, information services, research and evaluation, and advocacy. The Commonwealth of Learning assists Commonwealth institutions with the acquisition and development of distance education course materials. These include print, audio and video programs, and computer software. CAL strives to enhance the quality of learning institutions within the Commonwealth. One method of improvement is applying or upgrading the use of communications technologies. In India, for example, Call installed an audio conference network at the Indira Gandhi National Open University to link state open universities and IGNU regional centers. Call supervised the installation and trained personnel on site. The Commonwealth of Learning acknowledges the necessity of inter-institutional communication so information and resources can be shared. This is why CAL has supplied seven audio conference networks that reach a total of more than 50 sites worldwide. CAL promotes cooperation in the use of media resources in distance education. The establishment of the Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia, or SEMCA, is an example of CAL's efforts in this area. Very recently, the Commonwealth of Learning has taken a very important decision it has decided that it would establish what it calls a Commonwealth Education Media Center for Asia. Madam President, 
it has been decided by the Commonwealth of Learning that this center for Asia will be located in Indira Gandhi National Open University. Member countries have recognized the importance of training in the practice of distance education. Through the support of the province of British Columbia for the fellowship program, over 50 participants from developing countries have visited distance education centers in Canada. In addition, 25 distance educators have provided training in developing countries. CAL, working in association with IGNU, has created the Rajiv Gandhi Fellowship Scheme. This scheme will enable students from Commonwealth countries to enroll in IGNU's Masters of Distance Education program from a distance. CAL plays an important role in the provision of information and consultancy services on any aspect of distance education. At the request for technical assistance from the government of the Maldives, CAL has researched and evaluated the Educational Media Services Unit and provided them with a desktop computer video post-production system. Promoting the application of distance education as a viable enhancement is extremely important. This is reflected in all of CAL's work. The Commonwealth of Learning has seven areas of focus. Continuing professional education, teacher education, technical and vocational education and training, gender and development, the environment, student support services, and non-formal education. Keeping up to date is important, regardless of how educated we are. Continuing professional education is therefore a priority, and the sponsorship of a video conference on continuing judicial education between Australia and Canada is one example of supporting this level of education. In developing countries, teacher education is one of the highest priorities. The Commonwealth of Learning is committed to improving the quality of this training. Using course content adopted from the Open University of Sri Lanka, CAL with the National Correspondence College founded a computer center, Luantia, Zambia. The purpose of this venture is to give both men and women the computer skills necessary to become employed in local industry. We came as complete illiterates in computer technology. Now we leave as computer literates. Thank you. Whether it's creating a computer awareness program in Zambia or assisting the transfer of an Australian motor mechanics program to Jamaica, CAL is assisting the implementation of technical and vocational training in developing countries. The Commonwealth of Learning believes gender and development is an extremely important issue. Distance education is especially valuable to women where personal circumstances, economic or social pressures make it difficult for them to further their education and training. I mean, I've, I've been a mother for 17 years out of the workforce and now my children are growing up and I, I can now fit myself back into the workforce by learning and not feeling um, inhibited about learning. Another priority is the environment. With the earth facing overpopulation, pollution, deforestation, acid rain, and global warming, CAL gives special attention to the environment by promoting public awareness and understanding and influencing attitudes. After discovering a need for a computerized database that would specifically keep track of an institution's distance learners, CAL developed the Student Record Management System. This system is currently being used in more than 50 institutions. CAL sponsored a training workshop in Ghana on field-based radio program production. This project is aimed at improving the reading and writing skills of illiterate adults and is an example of CAL's work in non-formal education. The Commonwealth of Learning will lead the way in reforms and innovations to bridge the gap between formal and non-formal education. CAL's objective is to advance human resource development by widening access to education, our common wealth.